special and surprising. Hello, as you can see, I'm in my tent, it's dark outside, so I made it through the day. Uh, and uh, again, uh, an interesting day. I didn't get started very early today, I was tired, I was pondering over which route to take yesterday for way too long and looked at all the different options and, you know, compared kilometers and altitudes and all that sort of stuff um and uh yeah so only got going and then i still had to organize some a couple of things like shopping and, and you know, got the new bag so i have to distribute the weight a bit different and all that sort of stuff it took time to figure out but it was not so bad so i only got rolling by sort of lunchtime and uh then uh had good tailwinds um and was on major roads for quite a while which is not um exciting but it is efficient it really is i gotta say you you make just so much more progress in, in on these major roads it's it's incredible so 80 kilometers to hunterville was sort of the first step i wanted to take and see how i feel when i got there and that was that was super easy i mean i, I think three hours or something it was it was it was really quick um Weather is also a bit better than, than the last few days, so it was much more enjoyable again. And then I got to Hunterville, had a bit of a break. There's always plenty of, of, of other cyclists here at the moment because this um, tour Aotearoa is on and uh, a lot of people are coming sort of the opposite direction. So I got chatting there with some people and um, uh, had a coffee and, and then decided I'm going to keep going went um, off the major roads into a, a really tiny valley um, quite remote can't even remember the name of I'll, I'll look it up for tomorrow and um, yeah it was it was very pleasant to the eye here it's a lot of rolling terrain nice uh, hills green um, lovely trees and all that so it was, it was a lot of up and down it was challenging but it's um, so motivating when you have a nice landscape. Um, it, it just keeps you going. And then there's almost no traffic. You, you have the road to yourself. A couple of really awesome waterfalls, surprisingly, and, and these kind of things. So it's really nice to be here for the first time, freedom camping. Um, not, go, not on a campground, just sort of put myself next to a, a creek here. Creeks, unfortunately, from all these storms are not so nice there's a lot of sediment in there so i can't, can't really jump in uh, which is a bit of a pity but uh understandable um so yeah gonna enjoy my night here uh the reason why i decided for this road i wanted to touch on that one is i had a different route planned initially which included a lot of sort of mountain bike trails and um it, it, for the people who know the bridge to nowhere is there's a cycle trail which is sort of mountains to sea it's called i think and uh, it's very narrow and um, goes through beautiful forests and um, mountains and all but uh, due to the rains it's pretty washed out pretty muddy um, trees over the track and and all these kind of things that make it very difficult so from what i heard from in the bike shops in town and from the people that sort of come towards me is it's super challenging you have to push your bike for sort of multiple kilometers and they have way better setups in terms of mountain biking than i i do i just have a gravel bike so that's why i decided to take a uh, a more sort of street based route and uh 
yeah, I'll I'll do it different to everybody else, and I'm gonna enjoy that, and I'm I'm certainly am so far. <clears throat> also realize that my packing system on the bike is is quite a European system. Um, obviously, ob coming from the obvious influence, but yeah, I'm packed a lot on the back. Um, have a lot of stuff, uh, you know, for for all the different things I want to do along the way as well. Um, while you know, a lot of Aussies or a lot of um, Kiwis that do those tracks, they have a mountain bike, absolutely minimalistic in what they're packing. I don't know how they do it because they they're essentially wearing the same clothes for for the four or five weeks there on the road and uh, very different sort of types of bags and that makes it more suitable for those tracks and makes them fit through and all these kind of things but uh, hence I'm doing it a, a, a bit different um, and enjoy other things which I don't have a problem with at all and uh, my bike's faster that's for sure I'm, I'm sometimes really good with my progress makes me very happy and make then off, offers me the opportunity to go left and right a bit and, and explore some some other things that's it for today uh, there's a, another massive day waiting for me tomorrow with uh, some good climbs but uh, that's for tomorrow and i'm gonna enjoy a long night's sleep here in the middle of nowhere where there's absolutely nothing here thanks <clears throat>